Hello, hello. I have been using the uh, numeric pad on my keyboard to uh, switch scenes and mute the microphone in OBS Studio. But I have been tinker around with some other software that uh, does this a lot better and you can use a tablet or a phone to control OBS. And you can control a bunch of other stuff as well, but for mo mostly right now I just have it for OBS and a soundboard. And it's called Touch Portal. And it's a free software and you got some limited functionality with the free version. Um, you can pay for this as well. And you have to pay for it in the uh, app on your phone, tablet, and you get sort of all the functionality. It's not that expensive. I paid about 15 US dollars for it. It's not that bad. So, yeah. And you go to downloads here. And you get down here. And you got Windows software, sort of computer software for Windows and Mac. And then you got the phone or tablet apps, both for Android and iOS. There doesn't seem to be a Linux version. But anyway, when you have installed the Windows app or Mac OS app, you will get a little bit of an icon or a little icon here. I have set it up so that it will automatically start when I uh, sort of start the computer or log in. And normally the window is a lot smaller, but uh, yeah, this you can see this is sort of a tablet. <laughs> it looks like an iPad. Everything looks like an iPad, but I have an Android tablet. It's from Lenovo, kind of old. But here is the sort of the main window. You got a bunch of other tabs here, values. I have set it up here, some events and stuff. And you can also choose if you want to have like a landscape mode or regular like this. I usually I have my tablet in sort of landscape mode like this and yeah it's kind of fun to play around with it's a little bit advanced uh, on some stuff um, for example the soundboard um, yeah uh, it, it's not set up this is just go to that kind of page um, I want to show you how it looks later but right now this is the sort of the main menu and I'm going to add like a second uh, sort of page here so right now it's set up for Twitch it will be for like yeah, the desktop recording or whatever you can have different settings for stuff so right now I just have this Twitch and this is just the settings page you can't control anything so yeah the only thing this button does is that it will it says go to page and you can select the page you should go to right now it just says twitch page and of course you can change the icons and the text and whatever backgrounds in here and in this software you can't really click if i click on this one you get to the settings page uh, so if i want to select page here change another page i have to go to this menu so for example the soundboard and you always when you create a new page it will always have this sort of back button back to the main menu and then you can add your own stuff here. So uh, the soundboard with this is that you can have the multiple 
sort of sound effects here and you just click these buttons to switch between different effects so it's kind of this is what happens when you click on it and what the event so the event here is that it changes the icon on these ones on the soundboard it's a little, little bit more complicated uh, because it has to switch between the different sounds so I just set it up right now so I can just change the uh, mp3 file later on but yeah it's a little bit complicated this once that this is the complicated thing that I got at the moment so that's the soundboard and also twitch so this is how it will look like on the app on the uh, tablet as well so the blue icons go to you know the different sections like the main main menu and the soundboard and then I can uh, toggle you know Spotify on and off my face can on and off and the red, red colors mean that it's off and on I'm going to show you how it looks on the tablet later also webcam have a secondary webcam and then the orange or brown stuff here these are the different scenes that I have in OBS and you can sort of if I go into Spotify click here you can see what it does so um, yeah basically it changes both the background color so when it's playing it turns to green and also the text changes to playing and when I stop again it will be paused so yeah this is sort of the control stuff for that and yeah the face cam is kind of simple a little bit more stuff here it does basically the same it's a toggle function and I have the face cam on different scenes uh, in OBS so it should toggle so the, the face cam on and off in scene games one desktop and stuff so yeah it's getting kind of big and it also changes the color when the face cam is on to green and when it's off it's red and also the text changes So, yeah, so it's the same thing for the webcam then you have the different scenes and for example starting so what it will do is first of all just switch to the scene and don't mind the value here I'm not going to explain that right now it's complicated but uh, yeah and it's going to uh, switch a to the starting scene and it's also going to mute the microphone the desktop audio and the browser audio so that's that the mute and when I start playing games or whatever I click on the games one and it switches to that scene and then it will unmute the microphone and stuff automatically so it's doing two things here it's both changing to the scene and also unmuting the microphone the audio and stuff and of course it's changing the icon as well so you know what scene are sort of active or not so yeah same thing with all of, all of this basically so this is how it looks in the sort of setup software so how does it look on your tablet then well this is my tablet and yeah and you need to have wi-fi connected and you need to be on the same network as your sort of computer so you can't be on a guest network or whatever you need to be on the same network as your computer 
And here I have my touch portal icon. And what you do is that you just start it up. <clears throat> so touch portal. So this is how it looks on the tablet. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you got your Twitch icon there. So if I click on Twitch, I get all of this stuff. And yeah, so if I click on the main menu, I get back. And if I click on the soundboard, I get over here. And if I click on these different speakers, you can see that they change the icon. This icon changes. And also this uh, down here, it's now a calculator <laughs> just for demonstration. And now it's a phone thingy. It's a train or yeah, it's a train, I think. And a note. And you can have multiple things of this here. And yeah, I'm back to Twitch here. And for example, if I go to click on the Spotify, now it says paused, playing, and also the icon is green. Turn off, it's paused. Face cam off, on and off. Also the webcam on and off and I'm actually going to do a little bit of a thing here in the OBS so let's see do it like this Yeah, this should not work properly. So, yes. And right now, if I go to, uh, you see, And yeah, so for example, right now you can see that this uh, sort of box is have a sort of brighter color than the others. That's because uh, this scene is now selected so that I know which scene is sort of active. And if I click on uh, games, for example, now that's active. And it also changes in OBS and I'm going to show you how it looks and then you have your game and a different desktop and yeah so this is kind of how it looks in the software itself so let's see how I should do this let's minimize this first and I will sort of bring out my OBS here. So this is how it looks. Um, I have different profiles and uh, scene collections in uh, OBS Studio. One for streaming to Twitch and one for recording desktop. But this is sort of my Twitch setup and uh, yeah, I'm recording the desktop right now because I just wanted to show you this, how it works. So yeah, I got the different docs here, my chat and the dashboard and stream elements activities. Then here are all my scenes. And you got different sources here and the audio. And yeah, so yeah, here you can see the face cam stuff. They are right now off. And let's see if I... Turn it, put it over here maybe, and yeah, it's kind of hard to see, 
Well, if I do it like this, maybe. Yeah, like that. Well, you can't really see that much, but anyway. So uh, right now you can see that I'm on the desktop scene here and all the volumes are correct. But if I actually just switch to the You can see that uh, on these um, speaker icons here, it will be muted when I click on the start. So that's how it works. And when I get back to the gaming, the desktop here, it, it will unmute everything. That's kind of nice. And uh, yeah, that's kind of nice, the switch. And Let's see if I can actually do it like this. Yeah, right now you can see the face cam and the webcam source. They are not visible. And if you look at the face cam icon here at the tablet, uh, so if I, it says it's off as well. But if I actually Click on it, it will turn green and it says face cam on and it's also activated. So the face cam and it should be sort of overlaid. <laughs> you can see it over there. Hello. Same, same thing with the webcam. We can do that. Uh, yeah. It's kind of fun to play around with and yeah so if I want to sort of disable the uh, webcam you see the webcam over there I just click on it and it disappears and it also says face cam off and the background turns red so yeah that's kind of fun to play around with works really well that's what I've been uh, fiddling around with for a couple of days just to get this work. So yeah, right now I'm just recording the uh, main desktop, but if I want to record my secondary monitor, I go to the desktop HP. And now you see my OBS. And I got a bunch of other stuff like the IRL and the loading scene and then the So yeah, that's how it look like. I can turn on my webcam here. <laughs> and there you see my webcam is like that. Boop, boop. It was kind of fun to play around with. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. So yeah, it's a really neat software. Right now you can see that I am the, on the desktop scene and also the camera is off. There's no audio playing. And then right here I can go directly to the soundboard. If I want to have some kind of sound effects, I can click on the sound effects, like over here. <clears throat> and then go back to the scene selections. Yeah. That's how it works. So, catch you later.